The high speed services operate between the major cities like Rome, Florence, Venice, the Pauls, Milan, and even Turin, and can get you to your destination very quickly and noisily. Roma! The Italian train network covers a large part of the country and it is a fast, efficient and environmentally friendly way to cover distances and also have something to eat along the way. But we're here today to see the Colosseum. So who built the Colosseum? The Colosseum was started under Emperor Vespasian, but he died before it was even completed. Construction was finished under his two sons, Emperors Titus and Domitian. The actual building was done largely by Jewish slaves, overseen by Roman engineers and craftsmen. So how old is the Colosseum? Construction of the Colosseum was completed in the year 80 AD, making the building 1,137 years old. That's quite old. Why was the Colosseum even built? After the Great Fire of 64 AD, in which a substantial portion of the city was burned, Emperor Nero ordered the construction of a magnificent palace for himself in the area that had been devastated. The palace of the Dumas area, which today is being excavated, can also be visited. So that's what we're gonna do. Did you know the Colosseum is oval shaped? It is 189 meters long, 156 meters wide, and 48.5 meters tall. The entire building has a surface area of six acres. This, the, this, this water comes straight from 86 kilometers away from Rome up in the mountains in the north. Oh, wow. Oh, so that's why it's cold? Okay. 86 kilometers from up in the Montana. Fresh Montana water. Yeah, fresh. Fresh. Ever since the ancient foundations of the city, Rome has been known as the city built on seven hills. Throughout the years, this original citadel has grown and expanded even further into the countryside, meaning it now covers a much larger area than its original seven hills. As a result, we now have the incredible variety of views that give out into the various parts of the city. I don't know why, but this seagull seemed to be quite famous among the locals. And everybody was taking photos and having Instagram pictures with it. And we just decided to call him Stefano. There he is. Okay, bye. 
He's gone! Whoa. This should be interesting. I mean, it is a pretty big bin, right? <clears throat> <laughs> what song? Gladiator! What song was that? Yeah, from Gladiator. Oh, here. I never watched that though. Tuk Tuk! No, not a rugby scrum, but manpower. Why walk when you can get somebody to cycle through the entire city for you at a low cost as well? And we won't ask why these guys are wearing shorts in the middle of winter. We'll just let that one pass. Did you know that the Trevi Fountain is one of the oldest water sources in Rome? Controversial, but Salvi was not the original architect. Oops. Sorry, I didn't mean to let you. could swim in there. Yeah. You go down there and have a look. Yeah. Oh, how that? Cheeky thing, how did you do that? <laughs> And it's made from the same material as the Colosseum. So there you go. Depending on your view, you can thank Gambler for the fountain's existence. Hmm. Curious. Ready? Why don't they insert lights in there? Huh? They insert the lights in there. Oh. So why is the Fontana di Trevi famous? Well, construction lasted from 1732 to 1762. The fountain's fame is in part the result of the many films that featured the Trevi fountain, including La Dolce Vita, Angels and Demons, the Lizzie McGuire movie, and Roman Holiday, all of which I've never seen. Yeah, it's, it's all right. I've seen better. Welcome to the Emmanuel II Monument. Or the Colosseum Forum, I don't know. We didn't actually go inside the building because we're cheap, but you can, as it is the Institute for the History of the Italian Risorgimento and the Central Museum of the Risorgimento. Since 1921, the Victor Emmanuel Monument holds the tomb of the unknown soldier, a place in which the eternal flame shines and which is always guarded by two soldiers. Well, I didn't know that. And the beauty is you can get a tuk-tuk anywhere. I do think that this is the best way to travel, however, it is a little bit like looking at the back end of a horse whilst travelling. A wise man once said to me that he was a Catholic, just not Roman. Yeah, they do things differently here. Welcome to St. Peter's Square. St. Peter's Square is the largest and most beautiful squares in the world, according to the internet. It is located in the Vatican City at the feet of St. Peter's Basilica. I've seen better. I'm just saying, that's all. Vatican City is the smallest country. I said country. Can you believe that? Country in the world. So here we are, lining up like plebs, wanting to see the statues of ancient antiquity. Oh, look, Tiffany, you've got like a hut over there. Alright, alright, cut it out. Can't hear myself think. Right, come in, I'll have a look. Goodness sake. What a racket.
Some would argue that the Pope was made redundant at Calvary. I'll leave that thought with you. 